Hi guys, it's Bags and President Ross. Today we have an updated election map according to Quinnipack.com. Who do you guys want to win? Let us know in the comments. Also, like, share, and subscribe for more videos. My throat is still sore than a donkey's cattle. So let's try and fill in this election map according to Quinnipack Polls University. And we are going to go to the election map and prepare to fill it in. As always, the blue states are for Kamala Harris and the red states are for Donald J. Trump and Republicans. So the blue states are Washington, Oregon, California, Hawaii, Colorado, New Mexico, parts of Nebraska, Minnesota, Illinois, Virginia, New York, New Hampshire, Vermont, Connecticut, New Jersey, Massachusetts, Delaware, Rhode Island, Maryland, and the District of D.C. and parts of Maine are blue for Kamala Harris. Now, the red states for Donald J. Trump and J.D. Vance and Republicans are, as always, Montana, Idaho, Wyoming, Utah, Alaska, North Dakota, South Dakota, most of Nebraska, Kansas, Oklahoma, Texas, Iowa, Missouri, Arkansas, Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, Florida, South Carolina, Tennessee, Kentucky, West Virginia, Ohio, Indiana, and parts of Maine are red for Donald J. Trump. As of right now, this gives Kamala Harris 226 electoral votes to Donald J. Trump's 219 with seven swing states. And the swing states and battleground states are Nevada, Arizona, Wisconsin, Michigan, Pennsylvania, North Carolina, and Georgia. We're going to fill in these states. Who do you want to win? And start typing up who you want to who you think is going to win each state before we get the polls up. Right now, start with Nevada and then Arizona and move to the right. Type your comments right now. We'll give you a five-second lead. Just put NV, Trump Harris, Arizona, Trump Harris, whoever you want to win. In five, four, three. Two, one, submit that comment and let's see how right you guys were according to Quinnipiac polling. We have Arizona with less than 1% is Trump. He wins it. He makes Arizona red. I couldn't see. Had to move you out of the way. All right. Red for Donald J. Trump. 11 electoral votes. That puts him in the lead to her 226. Nevada, according to Quinnipiac polling, Nevada is tied. It will not be colored in. Wisconsin. According to Quinnipiac polling, Harris has uh, Wisconsin at 48% to Donald J. Trump's 46.7, making Wisconsin blue for Kamala Harris. North Carolina, according to Quinnipiac polling, Harris has a 50% lead in Michigan, making Michigan blue for Kamala Harris to Donald J. Trump's 48%. She has 50%, so she's got a 2% lead in Michigan. According to Quinnipiac polling, we have Georgia, and Trump has a 1.1 lead in Georgia, making Georgia red for Donald J. Trump. This is a neck-and-neck -neck race to Kamala Harris's five-vote lead, 251 to Donald J. Trump's 246. North Carolina, according to Quinnipiac polling, Trump has a 0.7 lead as of today, 1029, uh, and it is red for Donald J. Trump, North Carolina. He's barely, barely, he's got less than 1% lead in North Carolina. Probably due to his reaction to the hurricanes where he did not wait five days to go there like Kamala Harris's team. Pennsylvania is the deciding state in the 2024 election. According to Quinnipiac polling, Harris has a 51% to Donald J. Trump's 49.6%, making Harris the winner of Pennsylvania by barely 8%. That gives her 270 electoral votes on the dot to Donald J. Trump's 262. Even if he won Nevada, he would only have 268. There would be a two-vote difference. Kamala Harris is the big winner of the Quinnipiac polling today. And I, as always, am President Ross. And I'm Bags. And we are out.